I was able to work building a WWE SummerSlam stage, interview legendary WCW announcer Tony Schiavone, and help make food for the less fortunate families with Cody Rhodes and Mad Cat Moss, all during what I call Wrestle Week. Here's what happened. I worked the WWE SummerSlam stage at Ford Field. We helped build the stage and break it down, set up the lights, the ring, the, the entranceway. It was a great experience. Got paid a lot of money for it, too. Man, what a day. It is 9 a.m. We just got done breaking down the SummerSlam stage. I've been here since 11 p.m. I even got to witness the spot where Jimmy betrayed Jay and put him through a table. I started to take the table home, but I ain't want to get in trouble. There's a fucking Roman Reigns Joey Uso the table. Yeah. Yeah. That's what this all about, Roman and Jimmy. Be proud of yourselves. This what it's this what it's come to. It's your own brother through a table. When Jimmy walked back through the curtain, it was like our eyes met, and he could see the disappointment in my eyes because he betrayed his brother. But I was also happy to meet him. It was a silent connection of wrestling history. Soon as Jimmy Uso betrayed Jay Uso, he walked through the back curtain and looked me dead in my eye. And I looked at him like, bro, what the? <laughs> Almost got fired because we not supposed to talk to the wrestlers. I didn't talk to him, but I just did like this, like, what are you doing? Because he betrayed his brother. Shots in his tank, SmackDown, it's great. Shots in his tank. At WrestleCon, I had the honor of interviewing Tony Schiavone, a legendary AEW and WCW announcer. BC Beats, my name is Tony Schiavone, and you are desperately out of time. His advice on the wrestling business was pure gold. I turned the camera off because it was a private conversation, but he basically said, the amount of crap that you have to take in this business, make sure they pay you equally as the amount of money. <laughs> He also gave me some resources and some emails and different people I could reach out to. I let them know that I'm an inspiring on-air talent. Uh, I would like to interview talent on air and work as an authority figure one day. So I really appreciate your advice. Tony, if you're watching, thank you. Last but not least, we got to give back. I was able to team up with Madcap Moss and we was basically making lunches for underprivileged families and the less fortunate. I even got to ask him what was his favorite wrestling stage, and I think he said King of the Ring 2004. That was a great stage, and I told him my favorite stage is this WCW Bash at the Beach and Halloween Havoc. And he was like, oh, I forgot about WCW. They did make cool stages. We took a picture and everything. Madcap, if you're watching, it was nice meeting you, homie. Appreciate you. Last but not least, I got to meet wrestling legends like Bret Hart, Scott Steiner, the Hardy Boys, and each encounter added a new chapter to my wrestling journey. My younger self, my inner child, was very happy to be in these environments and meet with the people I grew up watching on TV. Uh, I hope to do it again next year at WrestleMania 40 and be more prepared uh, to bring out exclusive interviews. It's to them.